Christians to afford to do. Whether we do it or not, this is how we intended to do it. And Dr. Inkela, with his commitment, his dedication, and his love for people, I insist on that, his love for people has made a difference. Maybe 10 years ago, no one of you knew about Nido. But he single handedly took that organization out of him, where it used to be, just the usual UN bureaucracy. <laughs> and brought it to and brought it down to really attend to the needs of the average woman and man in the village, in Africa, in Latin America, in Asia, and elsewhere, elsewhere who understood now what the UN UNIDO stood for. Why is it that it is important to support an organization and how it can contribute to improving the lives of the people? Thank you very much for coming. I think Sierra Leone in particular, Africa in general, is very fortunate, are very fortunate to have a son like you. Someone who a new generation can look up to as a role model. Someone who has been at the highest level in the international community, but yet is just a son of a village in Sierra Leone. You never lose the opportunity to remind people of that, that what really makes you tick is because you are still grounded in your village in Sierra Leone. Every one of us, if we want to aim high, we first need to know who we are and where we come from. And that's what Dr. Yukela has taught us in the United Nations. And we are very grateful for that. Let me conclude by saying a couple of words for two of my mentors, models, and people who have looked up to, who may not probably know me, Mr. Herbert MacLeod and Mr. Joe Borowa. When we talk about Sierra Leone and why this country is on the move, because of the quality of its sons and daughters, not the diamonds, not the minerals, not the fishes, not the oil. It's the quality, the dedication, the skills, and the leadership of the sons and daughters of Sarah <laughs> and This two without their knowing, have inspired me. Mr. Koroma, you may probably not remember, or you do. In 1984, while you were the regional advisor for IPPF, you visited Guinea, my home country, and you hold the first meeting that went on to create the Guinean Association for, for Family Welfare, known in French acronym as ACTE. I was a very young doctor, right out of medical school, starting to work, and your discussions with me and your advice made me get into public health system, go to the United States, get my degree and join the United States. <laughs> Mr. McLeod, actually, I'm coming from Eritrea as in the last six months I was the resident coordinator in Eritrea. So I replaced you in Eritrea. And when people learn that I'm from West Africa, the first thing that I ask me, do you know me? I can't afford my cloud. <laughs> <laughs> They said, we have had many people who have served the UN in this country, but we have sent fond memory of him. Because he understood us, he served here right after we became independent. And he is the one who established the relationship between the UN and Eritrea. And we are very grateful. That I'm getting to know now, Minister Kaikai, Minister Kabo, and my dear sister and friend, Nasu Bobala, you are the things that make this country a great place. Remember that you are doing this because you are very close to the needs of your average countryman and countrywoman. Never forget that actually, as the President has said, if you want to serve your people, you first need to understand what makes them think and then you stick to that. Thank you very much. Uh, if, if I